Hey everybody, it's Michael from Aerial Influence. We wanted to show you what a live 3D map looks like. So what's happening is that we're sending the Phantom 4 RTK up. We've got two Jeeps out in the field. We're gonna do a, a 3D map of those, kind of simulating a, a crash or something. It's gonna be under 200 feet. We have uh, Terra hooked up to the remote. So basically this is the remotes running through the computer and um, the computer is, Terra is basically gonna take control of the, of the, um, the Phantom 4 RTK. <clears throat> so while it's doing this, it's actually gonna be collecting the images and doing a low resolution 3D map. So you can do low resolution 3D, low resolution 2D uh, live. And then this kind of gives you a good idea. Okay, did I shoot the right stuff? And then from there you can then process a full resolution map. So let's get started. Um, again, I, I've kind of changed a little bit of side overlap, forward overlap. You, you can uh, mess around with that, um, change different things on that, but uh, we're just gonna send it up, see what it looks like, and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. So we finished the map, it was under 10 minutes. It's gonna be a low grade map, but it's a good thing to reference, obviously. So, you know, it takes 10 minutes. You get a really good idea. Okay, do I have everything I need in the shot? If you don't, then you can start over and um, do another live map. And then obviously all of the images have been acquired so you can do high resolution post-processing afterwards. But at least this is a good, uh, you know, starting point. Um, if changes do need to be made, you've really only lost about, you know, 10 minutes of the flight. So, and then you can do another 10 minute flight and then do the post-processing. So David's going to figure out what we want to keep in that. And, uh, I'm going to sign off and say, thanks for watching Aerial Influence. <laughs>